So for problem number 37, it says the speed v of an object is given by an equation v equals capital A t cubed minus b t, where t refers to time. What are the dimensions of a and b? Now, a and b could be anything. It could be an acceleration. It could be jerk. It could be all these different parameters that we use in physics to measure interactions between objects in motion. So I'm going to start with this original formula of my velocity my velocity v I don't like how that looks my velocity v is equal to a <coughs> times t cubed minus b times t now, when they say dimensions, they're talking about dimensional analysis. So, in the SI system, velocity is always measured by meters per, whoops, I wrote it down backwards, that's funny. Meters per second, right? I went three meters per second, I went four meters per second because it's a length over a time. <coughs> so since we're only uh, mentioning uh, dimensions, oh, because two, two people coughed at the same time, I have allergies. I would stay away from that kid. Um, so anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in the dimensions that I know. So velocity is meters per second. And that's equal to A. I don't know what that dimension for A is, but I know that time is in seconds. So I'm going to say A times seconds cubed. Whoops. A times seconds cubed. And then B minus B, I don't know what it is, uh, times time, but time is just measured in seconds, right? So then I need to think to myself, this, this, this right here needs to look like this when I'm done. This right here needs to look like this when I'm done. <coughs> so A is a measurement of something. A is a measurement of something, and it has, it's a measurement of different dimensions. I don't know what those dimensions are, but whatever they are, when I multiply them by seconds cubed, they have to equal meters per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, <clears throat> A S cubed has to equal meters per second second. Well, to find the dimensions of A, I just solve this proportion. Um, I can divide by S cubed. The S cubes on this side will cancel, but dividing by S cubed, isn't that the same as multiplying by S cubed? Yeah. And so when you multiply fractions, you just go across the top. M times 1 is just M s to the first power times s to the third power is just s to the fourth power. So the dimensions of a, whatever a is, a represents a measurement of something. Well, it's the measurement of distance or length in meters time, or, uh, per time, per time, per time, per time four different variations of time, okay? Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the second term. B of S also has to equal meters per second. Again, I'm going to divide by S, which is the same as multiplying by 1 over S. And I get the dimensions for B is just going to be meters per second squared. So B is really just an acceleration. 
And if I remember correctly, um, meters per time, per time, per time, per time, I think that's impulse or jerk, I can't remember. Um, so these are real things in physics that you do actually measure. So now let's go back. Well, what does that mean? Probably you're like, oh, great, Mr. Adams, that's wonderful. I don't know what you just did. So now we go back and we plug it in, right? So I'm going to say um, meters per second is what I have to have. And I don't know what the number for A is, but I know that it should be meters per second to the fourth, right? For A, correct? Does that make sense? Times S cubed, right? Minus B, which is supposed to be meters per second squared times seconds. And you could put this over one and you could put this over one. So what does that mean? If I do dimensional analysis, if my dimension for A is meters per second to the fourth, what happens with three of these seconds and three of these seconds? They cancel out, all right? Three on the top cancel with three on the bottom. So when this goes S to the zero, S to the zero is one. What's M times one? M. Four minus three is one. What's S to the first power times one? S, put our little minus sign here. And one of these cancels with one of these. And I get S to the zero, which is one, one times one, or uh, not one, it's not S to the zero, it's S to the one times one is S. And then this is S to the zero, which is one, M times one is M. So now there's a number here that goes in front of this, but when it comes to dimensions, See how it all says meters per second? That's what we're trying to figure out. So dimensional analysis is, uh, I don't want to say counterintuitive, but it's not, it's something you got to wrap your mind around. The more you do it, the better you get at it, though. Okay? It's a great way to determine. So when you go to pick out your equation, if you remember that you're measuring, your final answer has to be in meters per second, you can do this sort of thing to make sure you pick the right equation. Or, more, more likely, the practical application is as you crank through the math, you label your dimensions in the math, and you find out your dimensions don't cancel out to meters per second. So you did something wrong or you chose the wrong equation. Okay? Any questions on that one? Okay, cool.